seated. And turn to page 234 in the front of your books. There will be some responses for you, so please follow along with us today. The services for affirmation of baptism on page 234. Your name, I want you to just come down here and step down to the bottom level and face me, okay? All right, so I present right now to you Julie and Emily who desire to make their public affirmation of their baptism. Come on down. Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for these sisters whom you have made your own by water the word in baptism. You have called them to yourself, enlighten them with the gifts of your spirit, and nourish them in the community of faith. Uphold your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism, and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. Now speaking to you too, I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? Congregation, please stand. Please join in the responses to the creed. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will not be judged the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the rest. Please be seated. You have made public profession of your faith. You intend, in the covenant God made with you, to continue and be in, the bapt in holy baptism. To live among God's faithful people. Hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper. To proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed. To serve all people following the example of Jesus. And to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. Julie, if so, please answer I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. Emily. People of God, you promise to support these sisters and pray for them in their life in Christ. Okay, at this time, I'm going to have um, Mrs. Julie come over here, and please kneel right here, and Emily over on this side. I'm going to invite any members of the family that would like to come, and Julie's family and Emily's family, to come and surround her, be behind her, and give her some support as we pray for the, for the coming of the Spirit. Thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Julie the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Stir in Emily the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. 
guys can both please stand. Center yourselves right here for me and face the congregation. Let us rejoice with these sisters in Christ. We rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news of the world. Let's take a moment to congratulate both of them. here for just a second. We have a couple of things here for you. No, no we're going to stand over here. All right. I'll just set down that up there. All right, so we have a certificate for you. For you. I'm not sure if you have name tags yet, but as adults in the congregation, you certainly need them. So that is yours. Yeah, that's your, that's your real third name tag, okay. <laughs> All right, now. There has become in the last few years a tradition in our congregation. We have an anonymous donor who fills a bag with Christian swag. All right? <laughs> that's what we got, a swag bag right here. This is um, special gifts for you guys. They're both, I believe, the same, so I can show you what we've got here. We've got shirts that say, actually, I think, let me see, oh, there it is. It says Saint, but it also says Center. There are Saint and Center both. You ever heard that before? All right, you should. Let's see what else we got. Here I stand, socks. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is actually the best. Little Dove chocolates, all right? <laughs> This is a, like a paperweight that, that has little um, words for your confirmation there. Let's see, and there's a card from the card crafters here at the site that's do such a nice job. And let me see. Oh, yes. I got to go for one of these. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> All right, I want to show you this because on there it says Lutheran chick. I have a little chick on this. All right. All right. So that's just for fun, but we really do congratulate both of you. Um, you guys did a fine job today. Thanks for coming up and being so great. You guys can listen to that. Yes. Oh, is there another thing? I didn't know about that. What's the story behind this? Anybody know? From Christian Ed. Oh, thank you. Should we go ahead and look at one now? Yes, no? Oh, look. It's a picture frame. All right. I'm sure your family's gotten some pictures today for you guys. All right, so there you go. You can remember this day forever. Are they both the same, you know? Good. Well, thank you, Christian Ed. That was nice. All right, you guys. Congratulations. Can you carry it all? Look at that, it's like the price is right, you can hold all these prizes. 